Stiff knee, tight joints. If you felt either of these, and I know I have, you don't want to miss this. Our guest Debbie says she's fed up with feeling this way. So we invited Beverly Hills orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Raj here to give her and millions just like her some great tips. So Debbie, tell us a little bit about what's going on with you. I like to travel, my family and myself, and on a recent flight, I noticed that my knee was giving me some discomfort and stiffness, and before I could complain about that knee, it shifted to the other knee. So both of my knees were bothering me. Whoa. That's it's good. like the knees are contagious, right? Yeah. yeah kind of. Uh, <laughs> how have these joint issues affected your day-to-day -day activities? Well, they're preventing me from being active. That's not who I am, and... I know it's probably part of being getting older, I guess, but I don't like it. I love to walk on the track that's near my house, and I like to hike. I like to attend my yoga class weekly and to actually go out and work in my yard. Debbie, you're not alone. Millions of people suffer just like you, and you're right to be concerned because being active is such a large part of overall health and overall well-being. So. Dr. Raj, I'm sure in your busy Beverly Hills practice, you hear stories like Debbie's all the time. Yes, and Debbie, all too often we consider joint issues as a normal part of aging. But that doesn't mean there's nothing you can do about it. It is very important to be proactive about the mobility, not just for now, but also for the future. So let's talk a little about why people experience joint discomfort or a loss of mobility or flexibility. Joints are where bones meet, and the cartilage on the ends of the bones help you move by allowing the bones to glide over one another. But as we age, that cartilage begins to break down and bones can actually rub on each other. This really causes discomfort. And Debbie mentioned that having problems with her knees is one of her big issues. Knee discomfort or stiffness is one of the most common joint issues that is seen. That's because knees absorb a huge amount of pressure with every step we take. That pressure plus normal wear and tear leads on to joint issues. Joint discomfort or loss in flexibility or mobility can range from mildly irritating to more impactful. It can go away in weeks or it could last for several months. Here are a few things that may help. Work with a physical therapist to strengthen muscles around that joint and improve your range of motion. And although it's important to stay active, do low impact exercises like bicycling and swimming. And, and Debbie, what have you done so far to address your joint issues? On occasion, I may put an ice pack on my knee. It does give me some relief, but it doesn't last very long. Well, typically applying ice or wrapping joints can temporarily help with the discomfort you're having, but it's important to avoid activities that cause issues for your joints. So, Dr. Raj, what would you recommend to Debbie uh, having heard her story? For the long term, I would recommend a joint supplement. Debbie, have you ever taken a joint supplement before? No, I haven't. Um, are they effective? It depends on which one you choose. Size is a factor. For example, glucosamine chondroitin tablets typically tend to be large capsules or pills, and you have to take two a day. I like Move Free Ultra. They have a new two-in-one product in which you take one tiny pill once a day. And according to a recent clinical study, this supplement has showed improved joint comfort in the first week compared to the average glucosamine chondroitin supplement. It can continue improving comfort the longer you use it. Debbie, we hope some of these tips will help you get back on the track and on track with your favorite activities. Thank you. And as always, make sure to talk to your doctor before taking any kind of supplements.